When comparing the temperature of several samples or several trials of the same sample, be sure to use the same thermometer for the entire study so that thermometer error is consistent. Consistent readings are more precise. The table shows four temperature readings of one water sample as measured by four different thermometers. Which thermometer produced the most consistent measurements? To answer this question, Analyze the temperatures measured on each thermometer. Find the highest and lowest temperatures and subtract. For example, look at temperatures taken using thermometer A. The highest is 24 and 19 hundredths, and the lowest is 23 and 40 hundredths. The difference is 79 hundredths. Follow the same procedure for each of the thermometers. The highest and lowest measurements of each thermometer are circled. Another way to look at precision is to determine how many significant figures are possible when reading a given temperature. Thermometer A has a range of negative 20 to 110 degrees Celsius. Each division is equal to 1 degree Celsius, so the temperature can be read to one decimal place past the value of smallest division. For divisions equal to a whole number, the temperature can be read to the tenths place. So the temperature of thermometer A is 22 and 2 tenths degrees Celsius. 22 and 2 tenths includes two known digits and one uncertain digit. Thermometers are designed for different tasks based on range and precision. Thermometer B has a range of 10 to 40 degrees Celsius. Each division is equal to 2 tenths degrees Celsius. The temperature can be read to one decimal place past the value of the smallest division. So for divisions equal to a tenth place, the temperature can be read to the hundredths place. The temperature of thermometer B is 22 and 27 hundredths degrees Celsius. 22 and 27 hundredths includes three known numbers and one uncertain number.